Hello, 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 and welcome to the week review at Sean's Rock. I am Sean Keenan Torres here, and of course, I am joined along with... And it's your boy, Sean and Mike. How are you doing? Man, it is a lovely, hot day here in Tampa, yeah. man. It yeah. is hot already. I, I thought, you know, it doesn't get hot till spring hits. Spring is like, what, another two weeks away? Yeah. What is going on? Exactly, man. This is the spring. See, I don't even know what it, why is spring is a, break. This is this is a sheen. This is a sheen. <laughs> yes, yes. I went outside uh, uh on my one wheel on Sunday. You know, I gotta go shirtless because you know it's it's hot. And like I went from mocha brown to like I don't know, <laughs> coffee bean brown. I don't know. It's like when you brown, you don't really it's it's, it's yeah. just a darker shade. <laughs> I, so see, I I I judge about my tattoos, right? So like I went to the beach Saturday, you know, I was out in the sun, you know, all day. So I'm like, great. So I'm, I was this dark when I started, you know, mm-hmm. the wrist part. Now I'm this dark at the end. Yeah. But the <laughs> once I get to like tattoo, once, once the tattoo blends in, I'm like, okay, now it's time to put like some sunscreen or something. <laughs> do, you, do you wear sunscreen, by the way? <laughs> no, I don't burn. I, yeah, well, I don't wear sunscreen. Like... I do burn in one place. Where? My lips. <laughs> I, yeah. Not lying, oh, no. not lying. I did not find this out. Okay, so I'll give you the story. So I went skiing. I was I was in high school, went skiing one time. Just snow skiing, snow skiing. I'm all covered up thinking, yeah, yo. Sh- but you went snow sh- skiing. Sh- I, I need time. that, I need that black card right now. You went snow skiing. Yeah. Hey, hey things, black people well, ski. Black people ski. There's some there were hate. some black people out there when I was out there. I wasn't the only one. Yeah, oh, no, man. Uh, what's the name? Like- that 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 woman off of that show. I can't remember the woman off the show, but she skis. I know she posts <laughs> pictures of her all the Candace time. Owens? But... No. <laughs> <laughs> now that makes sense. If she skis, no. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But no, so like I'm skiing, right? Get down to the bottom of this thing. I, I'm skiing like three hours in a day. Mm-hmm. Go in like, mm, why my lips hurt all of a sudden? Why do my, my lips hurt? I'm like, hmm. And then uh, so one of the, the people I was with, the, the chaperone was like, I think your lips are sunburned. I'm like, look what? what? <laughs> yeah, like what? what does a sunburn feel like? Oh, it's like a burn sensation that doesn't stop. Mother. Well, see, I got sunburn on my lips. <laughs> it's it's funny because like I get kind of the same thing, but not but it's more of a it's more of a uh, a frostbite type of feeling. Like I get it like when the temperature changes, like when it's like really cold and I'm constantly looking at my lips, like they'll like crack. They'll, you know, they'll the next day they'll crack up, they'll be like kind of. You know, you have like yeah. a cut here and there, but it's not. It has nothing to do with the sun. It's just me not wearing enough protection on my lips. I, I mean, I guess if anything was a sunburn, let it be the lips. Versus, I'm serious. I'm serious because I ain't trying to have that feeling on any part of my body because that yeah. was not comfortable. At yeah, that's and that's why all. I don't go to the beach. Like I get invites to the beach. Like, hey, it's a beach day. Like, okay, like what that got to do with me? Like, I don't go tanning first of all because. I've already achieved what everybody goes to the beach to do. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, we, I don't we got go to going, man. man. Yeah, you're not gonna catch me in the water. It's salt water, it's sharks, it's no lifeguards. I'm oh, you don't swimmer. get in the water. Come on, man. You got what am I getting dirty, man? This is this is the goal. Water. It's not like going to like you know, Myrtle or something like that. This is the goal. Listen, man, I'm not trying to get in the water, get out so people can lick me after a shot of tequila. You you can walk out like a hundred yards almost, and the water won't, won't go above your, your chest. It's great, Listen, man. It's great. Listen, and like if, if I drown, you can if, if, it's because the water's clear. I, I'm telling you, man, Ed, with my luck with water, I'm, I would be the one dude. You know how they like do the statistics every year, like, oh, you're more likely to get hit by a, a, a tank than you know, attacked by a shark. It's let I think it's less than one percent chance a year that uh, uh, for shark attacks, but I would be that less than one percent chance you know like i probably taste good a little <laughs> little chicken with some salt like i already got dark meat i mean that's like a thanksgiving dinner for them you know what i mean <laughs> like i'm straight shamu and uh bruce they they listen i'm i'm okay i know what it feel like i have a pool i'm fine i'm fine with with the beach it, 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 i have a pool too but it's not to say you gotta get in the water a little bit i mean i got in the water this time it was a little cold so i didn't get all the way in the water you know it's still a little cold out there right now and, pl- I, and plus, I, I don't want. Have, I don't, you know? Would you? If I yeah, if go, go there, to the throw beach, a football a little bit, throw a frisbee. You know, yeah, you know. Now I will tell you when when my brother was down, he came with with uh, one of one of his ex girlfriends at uh, girlfriends at the time. Oh, okay. And she had Damn. never uh, seen that the fact you can see everything in the water. So we're walking <laughs> through the water and yeah, steam she, was, like a uh, steam ray coming through. Uh, Myrtle Beach water, you can't. You, Myrtle Beach water, you can't see. You can't see through Myrtle Beach water. It's, it's yeah. Just that's see and see. All. That's another thing. If I can't see my feet, you never know. Man, hell no. I'm not getting water. But I you can see. see but feet. you can see your feet here. But she she saw the school of stingray. 
and she jumped up 10 feet out the water into my brother's arms. I was dying. I was dying. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> no, yeah, I already told you the story about dying. us in Key West this summer. That's I saw I saw a giant, I don't know what it was, but it I was in its ha habitat, obviously. And ever since then, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get my fish and sushi from the store, like most people. And you know, and I'm gonna leave the dive into professionals, okay? Like if I can barely snorkel, I you know, damn well I can't be diving trying to catch a lobster that looks like a spider in the water. Yeah, get the hell out of here with that. See, I'm trying to uh, uh I actually want to get my uh, school certification and go and go uh, dive at the reefs. That I think that'd be fun. Thanks. But Sean, what so are you looking for sharks. down there? You should look at uh, the all the stuff that we can't see up here. I can see all the stuff up here. I, I mean, can't unless, see the stuff down there. Unless you're looking for the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. Hey. Caribbean. <laughs> Maybe one day. Hey, hey. Sometimes, you know, you get paid. You get paid. Yeah. Speaking of people that. getting paid, let's go ahead and talk about today's rundown. Yeah, what we got? What we got on, on the rundown today? So for today's rundown, it's going to be a pretty good day. Pretty good day. A lot of things kind of happen, you know, here mm -hmm. and there. So for today's rundown, we're going to talk about, you know, it's, it's everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. Even though I haven't seen it. I've seen bits and pieces of the clips, and we're going to talk about, you know, Chris Rock's selective outrage. You know, we're going to talk about, you know, did Chris Rock get even with, oh, yeah. with Will? Yeah, we, we, well, he better be a comedian. <laughs> um, we also want to discuss the, uh, kind of discuss the, the, the new $2 billion Powerball winner and what he bought, but also where That's some of the past lottery winners, big lottery winners are, when they're not, are they still rich? You know? And then finally, we're going to talk about our top five greatest TV shows and streaming shows of all time. Yes, these are two mm -hmm. lists now, two lists. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you guys are listening. Go ahead and make your list now. Write them down. See your list compares to ours. Yeah. That being said. And keep in mind, this is uh, a relevant list. This is nothing pre-1980. Like, this ain't going to be no MASH or I Love Lucy or uh, what's that Casablanca movie that my mom always watches? <laughs> I don't know. Really. There would not be any no. Casablanca. If it's black and white, it's, it's not on his list. What we're basically <laughs> trying to say. Uh, but uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's top story. So, well, not top story, but today's first story. I don't know why I call it top story. All these stories it's are it's all these top story. Top. Yeah, it's at the top. But let's talk about Chris Rock. Chris Rock, man. So, in case you're living on a rock somewhere, ha! <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> you should be a comedian. <laughs> uh, uh, but in case you're living on a rock somewhere, you know that Chris Rock released a live first time Netflix ever did this a live. Uh, Comedy special Saturday night, mm -hmm. uh, and titled Chris Rock Selective Outrage. It was live. Um, it, he, it was first, Netflix's first time doing it live, first time they ever did it. Oh um, man, so you know he was, was you know, he was mad. If 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 you willing to do a live comedy show like on Netflix, <laughs> that means you got a lot to say, you got a lot of you got to get off your chest. I mean, to, to be live, honestly, on a, on a, on anything on comedy, mm -hmm. you you say something, you saying, I know no matter what. They gonna laugh. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> I mean, and, and I, I get it. Like you know, I've been I've been to like you know the comedy clubs around town, and yeah, it, obviously it's a live performance, but it's different when you on Netflix and it's live and millions of people are watching. You know, it's exactly it's it, it, that's a lot. It's almost that, like that's the a Oscars. lot on your shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> I see what you did there. Nah, but <laughs> we got jokes today. But, we got jokes uh, today. <laughs> yeah, we got jokes today. But uh, yeah, so. I don't know. I haven't seen the full thing, but I have seen so, some of the clips and mm -hmm. some of them. I mean, he goes, he goes at the throat on uh, and just one, one, one little passage. I, I've got to say, he said that he enjoys watching the movie Emancipation starring Will Smith. That's on Apple oh, TV yeah. because Will Smith plays a slave and he gets to enjoy watching Will Smith get whooped over and over and over. Again. <laughs> See, I know he's I know he's just joking, but where's all that energy <laughs> literally right after you got slapped? Like I don't care if we're on live, you slap me on live TV. It's like I have a, a what do you call it, a snapback reaction towards like I'm not even thinking. It's like just you know, it's like when a doctor hits your knee and it you know it moves up, it's like that. Somebody slapped me, my body would just react to slap them. Like it could be somebody, that'd be like it could be, somebody, it could be a baby. Reaction. Like an infant <laughs> could slap me. And like I'm, I'm sorry, I it just it happens. I can't, it's a reaction. It's not I'm not thinking like. I, I'm so bad. I'll do it in my sleep. You know, you yeah. come up. And you, oh, oh, oh my God! I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like yo, like <laughs> you, know. you, you. This ain't part of the script. I would have slapped them back, and we've been fighting on stage. We've been two. They were like, look, see, this is why black people can't host anything because you give them a, a 
a platform and they start fighting each other. And of all people, Will Smith, fucking and Chris Agent Rock. J, yeah. look, fighting look at and Chris and, Rock. Look, look at them. They got, and you know they're gonna say, look at them being dogs out there. That's exactly yeah, what they're gonna say. Being thug, thugs and tuxedos. Every single time. Thugs and tuxedos. Thugs and tux. Right. Here we go. We we gonna listen. We gonna start a group called Thugs and Tux, where we still thugs, but we classy, classy thugs. Classy with it. Classy with it. But man, I mean, what do you think? So before, there's more more things that well, more clips, not clips. I'm sorry, more quotes I'll share from the show. But just what do you think? He waited almost a year. To put this yeah. out, I think. I mean, that's that's a lot of waiting. I think, um, you know, I mean, yeah, go ahead and get that set up for us. We'll, we'll play the clip here in a second, but I think, you know, as a as a comedian, like, I mean, Chris Rock probably didn't want to publicly like address. I mean, I, even though it happened publicly, but if he's not a comedian, say Chris Rock is another actor. Well, he is a kind. He's an actor too, but like, say if he's his main actor, yeah. his main you know deal was being an actor, um. I, th- I think it would have been discussed more in private or, you know, any rebuttal would be in private. I think him as being a comedian, you you kind of have to use the stage to, you know, address. Oh, here's a clip now. But to address like any issues. Right. I mean, it's just like with with Kevin Hart or with uh, Cat Williams, like they always have to address personal stuff through their performances, which kind of sucks. Right. Because it's like, yeah. If he didn't bring it up on his uh, on the selective outrage um, stand up, then it probably wouldn't have got the you know as much attention or praise that it did. Now Netflix is. I mean, he did a comedy though. show. He he did a comedy show literally the very next weekend, and this is Chris Chris Rock. You know, he yeah, could came up like, material right I just, then. And I just there hate that forward. the public want that wants to divide. I'm sure they had a friendly relationship before that to divide them. Versus like them just, you know, apologize, make amends and, and let that be that. Like, no, man, it's a year later and now you bring this back up. So now if you Will Smith, what do you do? Do you just accept it or do you retaliate? Well, let's look at this clip. And see. Hey, Chris Rock. Yeah, and I hate that his like. I mean, I know it comes with being a celebrity, but like, I, and like you know, the Kardashians are a great example. But I hate that like, you know, to see Will Smith go from. I mean, he's still a great star. Like, I didn't. I don't think like he's you know his his. He's uh, still a great actor. Yeah, but like to see him go from you know the Fresh Prince to being you know Men in Black to Independence Day to being just one of the huge to his rap career to being one of the most popular stars on the planet at one period. To like having to deal with all this, like, like he said, entanglement stuff and getting his kids involved and, you know, and they're wearing dresses. Nothing wrong with that. You know, like I said, I support him, her, he, her, she, whatever the hell it is. Um, it, But then like his wife, like cheating. And it's like, yo, why is this like a live event? Like LeBron, like, you know, deciding to go to Miami. Yes. Like, Why is it? I mean, maybe he just feels that like his personal life is already out there for everybody. So might as well throw that on too. I hope he wasn't doing it for the money or the views. Cause that just seems uncanny of Will Smith, but it's like, damn, I hate to see someone I would consider like kind of an idol for any, anybody in, in, in the acting field uh, to kind of be used like this, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but at that level, because over know, a slap, talk over a slap, he got over one slap, which of course is from me as a deep people. A he got a the 10 minute comedy special put out about him, <laughs> and basically aired all his it was basically uh, was a rerun of all the stuff that he's been not been through. Well, that he's been through for the last like what two, three years, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, so, so it's like, so I, I would you assume that they're not friends anymore, like they don't associate with each other. I don't think Hollywood's big enough for it for that to happen. I think you may stop talking for a little while, mm-hmm. but now that he's put out this part, 
you know, his comedy they're, special. They're even. I think, I think, I think about, they're equal. We're, that, I think at this point, they're, e- they're even. Like Donnell yeah. Rollins said, the, they they both should be done. The, the, yeah. The, it should be squashed. You know, Bill, Bill Bellamy even spoke out about it and said, hey, you know, Colin, uh, Colin, uh, Chris can say these jokes because look what happened to him. So now that these jokes are out there, you know, it should be a squash, it should be a done, there'll be exactly one. And there's only so many rich, famous black people in Hollywood. You yeah, ain't got true. but so many to pick to pick from. I'm not saying that your friends have to be black people, but you you're gonna get some and you're gonna want to associate with them. <laughs> let me let me ask you this, and we can we can move on from, from here. But um, is there any celebrity that would say if they were in that scenario, say if they were Will Smith, whatever, would just mm-hmm. switch, switch and they went up and slapped Chris Rock? Is there any celebrity? We'll say black celebrity, I guess, that would just be like, for, we'll be allowed to do that. We'd be forgiven, like, you know, who's just untouchable. I'm thinking like an Oprah. Like if Oprah went up there and slapped Chris Rock, we would probably be like, yeah, he deserved it. Oprah could. Quincy Jones could. Quincy um, Jones. I feel like he'd be yeah. slapping people with a regular. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've seen a documentary about him. He was slapping his wife and kids. and Oh, my God. I'd be yeah, strong like, yeah, but um, I, there's not many that I, I that could get away. Maybe with Obama. It. I feel like Obama slapped somebody. He'd be like, "Oh yeah, well, man, Obama man, could slap me." Obama. I'm like, "Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man, yeah, he slap you. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. I'm gonna frame this cheek. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the wall. I ain't watching it for at Have least you, a week. <laughs> can you sign? Can you sign my slap for you? You know, you know, know Michelle. Frank. Damn, man, that's sad to see. Uh, I, I hopefully they make up because, you know, like I said. You know, I'm sure their relationship is tarnished. And it reminds me of when I was in high school, I got punched by my cousin, like my older cousin. He's one year older than me. And he I don't know what we were fucking arguing over chocolate milk at lunchtime. And I took his chocolate milk. and He said, Ciroc, if you grab if you take my drink, my chocolate milk, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And (laughs) this is one of those cousins who are like, you think he's joking because he has a smile on his face when he says stuff. And I drank his chocolate milk. And next thing you know, I felt a punch. Bam. Bow. <laughs> then I mean it obviously stung a little bit, but I was so shocked. And fast forward to last year, I'm one of his best men in his wedding. So, you know, things could change over time. <laughs> things can definitely change over time. I, the yeah. person that I, I I never thought I'd associate with is one of my close friends now. So hey, yeah, sometimes you, never you gotta know. fight. Sometimes you gotta yeah, fist You never know. But uh with that being said, uh, you know, much luck to Chris Rock and Will Smith, you know. Go kiss and make up or something. I don't know. Yeah, hug yeah, it out. Man. Bro, hug it. Go bro and hug it out, man. Come yeah. On. So we're gonna move on. Let's talk about lottery winners. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about lottery. We're gonna talk about lottery winners, but before we talk about the lottery winners, let's say why we're talking about them. Recently, someone, uh, his name has not been released, but <laughs> he's won. You have yeah, probably yes, but he won two. Billion dollars. That is two insane. With a B, with a B, from wow. Powerball. Yeah. Wow. Instant billionaire. Instant billionaire. You know, you, you, millions are cool and all. Yeah. No. No. He is a billionaire instantly. Yeah. So he he decided to flaunt it a little bit. Is this before and, or after taxes? Uh, this was before taxes. So after taxes, probably you know maybe a bill. You maybe, know, maybe a maybe bill. Nine hundred <laughs> million. Maybe a bill. But, I know, don't know. Still. Far enough up there that he ain't got to worry about this spending and going broke. I mean, really. Right. <laughs> well, he decided to flaunt it a little bit, and I don't know if we got a picture. <laughs> a <not>. little bit. <laughs> but, a lot uh, of it. Oh my god! Yeah, he bought a twenty-five and a half million dollar mansion in Hollywood Hills, California. Jesus Christ! This Joker is nice, and I, when I say nice, I mean beautiful with a capital B. It's got, uh, I don't know how many. Like, he knows he has to pay, like, property taxes on, even if he bought it cash. Like, like people, that's the thing. Like, this should be, as soon as you, it should be a Powerball, like, financial course for winners. Like, listen, you've won, but you have to take this course to get your money. Because you, I don't know how much money he had before he won, but I'm sure as hell it wasn't a billion. And I'm sure he wasn't <laughs> buying a $25 million mansion. Like, what, who, I mean, whatever. I can't tell well, anybody to do what to do with their money, so. So I was wrong. They did actually identify the guy. The guy's name, thanks to TMZ, Edwin Castro. Edwin he won Castro. Edwin Castro. I think I might be after related. taxes. 
After, oh, he well, well before taxes, but taking a lump sum, he won nine hundred and ninety-seven point six million dollars. I'd probably be upset that I was three million off of a billion. <laughs> <more than anything. laughs> I'd be like, man, how I would literally gamble like three million dollars at the casino just to try to win. <laughs> Just you know, just to, to, just to say, I mean, it's just, it's a tier, you know, a billion's a tier, <laughs> uh, millions a tier, a hundred millions a tier, you know, it's, it's a different, then you could say you're one of the world's billionaires. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's insane. I mean, you're close enough. You're close enough. I mean, you put enough in what's his name? What's his name again? I mean, Edwin let me Castro. Check, let me check my ancestry.com because I feel like I'm related to a Castro. <laughs> Edwin Castro. Yeah, that's yeah, the first thing that happens. All the relatives yeah, and just think, hey, Edwin, yeah, well, I heard you won. Well, my, well, you look know, at that I'm mansion, on. though. That is wow. beautiful. Beautiful. Can you make it? Can you zoom? Can you make it a little bigger? Wow, this house looks like, like, I don't know. It, it, it's amazing. Yeah, and th yeah. this is insane. It's got you think that was built or was room, or he bought it? Movie. He bought it. It's got a movie theater, a game room, wine cellar, bar, gym, and a sauna area. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. Like, why would you even need to leave? Pretty much. Pretty much. But, like, Pretty don't much. you think, like, having all that, like, at your, like, convenience of just in your house, you, like, you won't appreciate it as much, right? Because I feel like you appreciate things you have to earn and work hard for, not just win. You know? Like, it's probably going to be, man, don't even... I, Give it like a year and I guarantee that house will be sold or demolished or he'll be flat broke or he'll make some terrible Bitcoin investments. You know, it's so so since you speak of people being flat broke. Let's talk about other lottery winners and mm -hmm. see where they are. Did so six feet under <laughs> behind bars. The largest ever lottery jackpot in history, the one point five eight six billion dollar Powerball jackpot back in January 13th, 2016 was split between three winning ticket holders. Oh, yo, Two of the winning ticket holders, couple John and Lisa Robinson and a 70-year-old Maureen Smith came forward to claim their, winning, their, claim their winnings. However, it took the third ticket holders, May and Marvin Acosta, over six months to come forward and claim their prize. Wow. All three ticket holders opted to go for a lump sum payment and took home $327.8 million each before taxes. Okay. Now, are they still rich? John and Lisa Robinson, who won 327.8 Probably Uh They have upgraded to a multi-million dollar home, complete upgraded. with home theater and a private lake. Uh, other than that, they've kept out of the headlines. They still have their money. And this is okay. two years. Uh, the mansion is a $6.2 million 10-bedroom home sitting on a 320-acre lot in Tennessee. In Tennessee, with a private lake and some of the best views of Tennessee. She oh. went back to work the day after, but ended up quitting because <laughs> they kept bothering her at work. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, I wouldn't quit. I would just buy my whatever company I worked for. I mean, obviously not like it feels like Apple or something, but it feels a smaller, you know, mom and pop. I would just buy it and I fire everybody. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that's kind of spiteful. Unless so, Maureen like and shit. David Kosh, Kosh Smith. The other people in that group. Koshman. Let me write let me write these names down because you know, uh, industry.com. Yeah. Sometimes you'd be finding long lost cousins on hey, there. I'm just saying. Just so Kostner. now these are people that I hope I could be like if I won the lottery. Unlike the Robinsons, who are now at 6.2 million dollar home, mm -hmm. these people stayed in their three hundred dollar house in Florida. Three hundred dollar house. He bought three hundred hundred thousand, probably. Yeah, three hundred thousand. Oh, I was like, wait, they had a three hundred dollar house? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mom is like three hundred thousand dollar home that they already bought before winning the lottery, mm -hmm. so they still live there. Um, they bought a ninety thousand dollar Tesla and a new SUV. Other than that, they haven't done anything. They still go to the same shops and the same restaurants. They're probably scared to do something, you know. Like, yeah, I know, right? I'll be too. Like, oh, if I spend but, it, I'm gonna Sean, be broke. That's the thing about like like winning like large sums of money like that. It's like if you've never managed, if you first of all, if you're terrible at managing your own money. You, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you're going to be terrible at managing it. And then the same result is going to repeat itself. And then it's well, just if like... You get a, but if you... All right, I love the way you can hire a financial planner and a financial manager yeah. to manage it for, for, for you, which these people are. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a smart move because... But sometimes those, you're not those, they rob you too, you know? Oh, yeah. That's why you got to have three. You got to have one to watch the other to watch the other. Fight each other. 
<laughs> yeah. Like uh, you, like in uh, the you dark night. And you watch him. <laughs> That'd be the same thing for account. Look, if I hit that kind of money, I'm having three accountants and three financial managers, and everybody's watching everybody. Heck no. <laughs> You're gonna be I so paranoid. You. You're gonna be just yes, sitting here holding your I money just be. 80 cameras, 50 pit bulls <laughs> outside. Dude, I'm moving to Dubai. You, you know, hanging. you know how they do, you know, like on movies how they have them like make it when they shift cocaine and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd I'd be the same way with cameras and everything going, okay. You t- every time you touch my money. You know, on the computer, there's a camera looking at you, and you got to be naked. Damn, yeah, <laughs> you ain't sipping nothing out. You ain't gonna get no sleep. You could be like the world's <laughs> richest insomniac. Like, oh god, he hasn't slept in months. Watching his money, the guy's a hawk. Um, no, nah, I'm moving to Dubai. Uh, I'm about to move in next door to one of the Saudi princes, and you like you want to be around people with with the same type of money. You know what I mean? You don't be yes. bothered by yeah. the peasants asking for. Hey man, can I get a ride home? Yeah. Like, nah, man. Like, yeah. nah, I don't even drive. Can I, get I, got a, I got a helicopter. I don't even drive. Like, what are you talking about? You still driving? <laughs> you still using wheels, man? What? Me and Elon yeah, you, about to go yeah. play golf. Have you heard about the the, the whirly bird? <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's uh, but so uh, the Costas, you know, they stay quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, they aren't talking to anybody. They did open their own uh, philanthropy, a private philanthropy called the Acosta Foundation. See, that's that's um, that's smart. Uh, charity so is a big smart. tax break it is it is um the net set um which is manuel franco who won 326 million. Oh, he won he won 768.4 million dollars mm. after taxes 326 million Damn, after taxes, taxes that's not bad oh yeah taxes million? will wipe you out T- taxes will wipe you out well, they probably loved the lottery then. It was like, whoa, yeah, we had a winner. <laughs> you know, pay up, yeah. pay up. We got to fix these streets somewhere. <laughs> got to pay for that homeland yeah. security. Um, he uh, actually, there's been no official word about him. So he has stayed out of the limelight. So he could be dead, bro. You know, yeah, he, he, that's smart. Maybe it was Wazik, $758.7 million winner. winner. Mm-hmm. She, after taxes, 336 point 336 million. Uh, she quit her job at uh her medical Mercy Medical Center in Springfield. Um, but her current whereabouts and status are both unknown, and that's what she wanted. She said, yeah. This is a quote from Mavis, said that she rather she'd rather be alone, hide in her bed, and think about what she wanted to do next. And to think about what she wanted to do next. So it seems like, you yeah. know. I guess that's yeah. what you, you know. Wanted. My famous quote would be You ever remember uh, on the Chappelle show, uh, Daniel Rawlings? Uh, his, his line is always, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's be my, that'd be my quote. I'm out, I'm moving to another country. Uh, so it seems like they're doing pretty good. And and their other is on this list, it's, it's on the lotterycritic.com for anyone who wants to look it up, which is surprising. Uh, though, the other ones are, are doing good. Well, that's surprising because I feel like you always hear of most lottery winners going broke or being in some financial bind or some dude, got, I think a couple of people actually got murdered or were, were some yeah, there was, there was them. a dude murdered before. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah there, and I it's like, it, but there was, they, yeah. But yep. it's like, um, you know, like I said, winning lump sums of money is great and all, and I'm sure everybody wants it, but it's a reason why, like I said, the ones that most of them do go broke is they, it's a trust issue. They the you families. It. It's always your family. Mom, dad, sisters, cousins, grandma need a new hip. You know, those are the first ones. Yeah. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be okay with like not talking to most of your family members. Or or just being okay with saying no and actually being able to say no. I mean, that's the that's the, the hard part is a lot of people can't say no. You know, it's like yeah, hey. well, because it's like you don't you've never had you you've never had that amount of money. You probably would never, you know, no one in your family ever has. So it's like what do you do? What do you, what do you do, Sean? Well, let me ask you this. All right, we'll play a little game here. You win two one point five billion dollars, and you're taking a lump sum and say it's a billion. What what's the first okay. thing you do? First couple of things. All right, first thing. I, well, first thing I'm doing I'm, is like I just said, I'm getting three financial managers and three and three accountants. Okay, but how that's do you? All, that's do you the know? very first thing I'm doing. Oh, what do you know? Do you I'm, get them from? Oh, what do I know I'm getting from? Oh, yeah, because like, I'm gonna I'm gonna email my buddy who's an attorney and have him email his other buddies who are attorneys and find me the best one to get. I'm not just okay. gonna walk in and then and, and, no no I'm going to people who know the attorney that you want people who know a billion dollars or no because if you tell him then that's another person that you know that you got to trust well, down see, the line. That's what, but that's a, that's why you go do. That's why you already have these people head. 
this I'm going to an attorney. Oh, so you got this already planned out before you even even buy a ticket. Yeah, I've already I've already known this attorney for years. So you know, I work for him, we're friends, <laughs> we're, we're boys, you know, we cool. You know, hey Maurice, what's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> watch what watch his, watch he his, his you he hit, hit you with a reply email, like, yeah, um. Sean, I can help you, but uh, just let you know, our fees have increased this year. So yeah, yeah, for the general true. consultation will be about a million dollars just to talk to me. Yeah. Like, you know how it is. But see, but see, that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Anyone that I touch would be golden. Like him, because I'm trusting him to safeguard me away from everybody mm -hmm. else. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to give you a mil, but 200 grand, I'll give you 200 grand. Make sure that the law firm is two hundred grand. You gonna give somebody two hundred grand just cause? Like, see, you see what I'm saying? Like, no, you know, no, it's not just cause. See, you think it's just cause? It's not just cause. I'm buying him as a retainer. That's two hundred thousand dollars as a retainer to protect me from everybody else. Yeah, no, no. How do you, you, how do you even know if that's even grand. enough, or is that, if, or or if that's too much? You know? No, that's why that's the only person that would get that. Everybody else don't get that. You got to have that mm. one person in your corner that you say, "Hey, look, this is yours." But you gotta watch out. I don't know. I'd have a couple attorneys all like you said, watching each other. It's like, hey, I tell you what, a million dollars to whoever catch anybody scheming, you know, <laughs> like yeah. make it a game. But then it's quick game. But then my brother and sister, you know, I'm taking care of my brother and sister. I give them what do you mean each. take care of you gonna give them money? You just gonna give it to them or you gonna make them earn it? Or are you gonna put like it in no, a no, trust no. or something? I'm gonna give them I'm, I'm gonna give them a mill each. And okay, and then trust. what if they what if they blow through it like within a month? That's, That's it. Them. It's your sister, them. it's your it's your family though. But they know how I am. That's and you got them. a billion. What's a million to you? That's like a they, penny. They know what they need to do. I don't know. <laughs> they might set you up. You, first thing I'm buying is uh, uh, artillery. Like I'm buying a couple guns, some anti anti tank. You know, some Who you rockets. Shooting? I, I, I Who don't know. Shooting? Just in case. Exactly. Just in case. You're Listen. just as bad as me, and I go to the right lawyer. You don't know. Who I'm gonna shooting. have the signs in yard. Right I got I got a lot of guns. I got a lot of dogs, and I ain't with the shit. That's First thing you gotta do is protect yourself because people would try to kill you for money. Like, let a, I mean, people kill you for 10 bucks. You got a billion? Man, what? Man, they gonna, man, the whole neighborhood gonna be trying to plot and to murder you. Yeah, that's why you don't let your neighbors know, you know, and you put up a wall, you know, a nice big, See, even though I stay in this house, where, you know, or I put up a wall. I would pay okay. off the HOA, but look, I'm putting a wall in my, around my house. Listen, I don't hear change nothing about your name. It. Listen, I think everybody, and then I'll, and we'll move on from here. But I think everybody should have like a, another alias. Like I have an alias. He goes by Lorenzo. That's like my, you know, when I don't really trust someone, I want to give my real info. I go by Lorenzo. Um, so that's why you said your name was Lorenzo when we first met. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. See, listen, I knew something. Was wrong. Lorenzo <laughs> was. Um, and it's a little short story behind this, but like the same cousin that I told you that punched me at lunch back in high school. His stepdad, Ray, which I love to death, he's great. But when I first met him, I was like maybe five years old. And I knew he wasn't like my cousin's dad. And, you know, he's just a, a, a grown man, a new grown man in my cousin's life. So I didn't really trust him. He was like, hey, man, what's your name? And I, for some reason, I, I just had to lie. And I was just like, Lorenzo. And for like eight years, he's called me Lorenzo. Like since that moment, he was like, hey, what's up, Lorenzo? I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so... If you ever win a billion dollars, just look for Lorenzo Hagendash and you'll find me. Just Google that. Nah, I'm changing. I'm not changing my name, but you're not going to be able to find my name on the internet no more. I'm telling All you, right. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a scrub. <laughs> All right. All right. So, scrub. oh, no. Well, the show will go on, but I mean, you wouldn't know that I live in Tampa. Well, no, I still stay in Tampa, but you know, know where I live in Tampa. I'm saying that right Listen, now. If you win a billion, I get my uh, law degree and I'd be your attorney for 200 grand any day. Uh, uh yeah no <laughs> all right so lastly uh the next topic we want to get into is so basically just a backstory um I, I i'm sure i don't know if you've watched the last of us on hbo which is a great series based off of the actual video uh playstation game the last uh, of us nominal Phenomenal. Oh, no. And if you play the video game, then you even think it's even better. Right. And it's actually one of the series, excuse me, one of the, you know, game to movie or game to series that actually turned out pretty good because most of them have been crap. Mortal Kombat, crap. Uh, what's another one? What's another video game that's turned into a movie? Super Mario Bros. Crap. Oh, my um, God. That was horrible. That was Ninja horrible. Turtles. Well, Ninja Turtles was a, 
I think a movie first. Uh, no, yeah, Ninja Turtles was was a movie, was a comic book, then a movie, and then a game. Then a game, so. yeah. Well, either way, like even the Halo series that that uh, was briefly on. Well, the Halo series was pretty good. I like the uh, Halo series. I like I, I, I heard it got some mixed like reviews, it. and it didn't really follow the story. But either way, it's but, very hard to to emulate the impact of a good video game onto the big screen, especially since, you know, obviously certain things you can do in a game that you couldn't do in real life or couldn't even fake in a movie. However, I never played the last of us game. Sean, you have, and you've seen the series so far. It does it, does it add up? Is it accurate? Outside of one episode and I won't need the episode because I have my own feelings about the episode. Mm -hmm. So I won't need the episode outside of one episode. It does a really really good job of sticking with the game okay it really does and that and i think because the game had such a good storyline to it anyway that was not i'm not gonna say it was easy but it, it transferred easier to the big screen gotcha yeah you know? and then gotcha. casting wise the person they got to play ellie the i forgot i don't know her name the yeah uh, um, i forgot it, her name too i know yeah, you talk about she though. is she does a great job at yeah. playing ellie and and looks the part. I was like, okay, this. It's it's one of those series. They did a where, good like, job. I didn't have to play the game to where like I actually enjoyed the series. You know, what I mean, it makes me. I mean, I don't have a PlayStation. I'm probably not going to do it. But like, if if I did, and I had access to the game. I would I would play it. Like that's you I mean, have that's, access to the game now. It's it's it, you, they've got PlayStation on on PC now. So oh well, I don't. My bad. I take what I said back. If I had the time to play The Last of Us. <laughs> so I'm already watching the show. I don't want to end the game and see what happens at the end. But anyway, um, yeah, we were. I was, I was on the subject <laughs> of good series. And lately there's been, over the past couple of years, you know, with streaming, with HBO Max and Netflix and Hulu and Amazon and, you know, Showtime and Prime and all this stuff. Um, there's been some very entertaining series and there's been some duds. Uh, however... I wanted to, for us to have, to, to hear our top fives as far as like, not just streaming, but TV series as well. Um, I know there are some like, like for instance, like Breaking Bad, I, that's my number one. However, it originally aired on, I think, AMC yep. or FX. I can't remember. AMC. AMC, but I watched it on Netflix when it came out on Netflix. So... We're going to bring uh, Colin in here because he we we had to make a list too, and we're going to compare and we're going to eventually see Discuss this you know list. where we rank as far as I guess our uh, what would I say uh, series knowledge and popularity and you and, and if you're listening in, you can compare your own list and you know comment and make your own changes and suggestions as well. So, Colin, you want to go ahead and hop in? How are we doing? Oh, all right, I'm doing good. So, um. I didn't. I have my list of streaming ones, so that includes all the streaming services as of today. <laughs> and I have my top five. Um, I'll go first, and then you know you guys can figure out your order after that. But and some of these I haven't even seen. I'm just going by popularity, which is a shitty thing to do because that's know, that, like, that's crappy. See, I saw all of mine. Okay, well I said so. The ones I've seen, I'll go by the ones I've seen. So. Number one, obviously unanimous. I'm sure you guys have the same. As far as streaming, I have Game of Thrones, followed by Stranger Things, followed by The Wire, and then I have, oh, this is tough, because I know The Sopranos is good, but I've never watched it, so I can't, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm going to say Ozarks and Narcos. That's my top five. Ozarks and Narcos. Okay. Okay. All right. That's streaming though. That's streaming. That's yeah. Okay. It can be so streaming, on any streaming so, service. So streaming. This isn't a TV series. This is streaming. This is this is my top five. All right. Um. And you named a good one. You, you didn't name a good one. The first one. Um. But I'm going to say Demon Slayer because Game of Thrones ruined it for me with the, with, with the last season. It, that just killed. I I just I couldn't get so. into the. It, it's one of those like if you didn't if you, you can't catch Game of Thrones like halfway through. You know, and no, I just didn't have time. I didn't have eight years of my life to watch all the episodes. It doesn't take eight years. You just binge it like everybody else does. I would now. say if anyway, someone told anyway. me like the like the summary of Game of Thrones, I'd be like, well, wait, why didn't the people with the dragons just kill everybody? <laughs> you know, like what conflict would there be if, if if one side has dragons and other side doesn't? That's pretty much over. 
Okay, so this is my list, not in order, but this is my okay. list. So it's gonna be Ozarks. That's number one. You said not Demon in order. Slayer. Not in order. Okay. Ozarks. Actually, Ozarks, I will I'll just bit Ozarks is my number one because that shoo, one? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Ozark, I got to say, but it's not even really in order. So Ozarks, Demon Slayer, which is which is an anime. Okay. Um Ted Lasso. Oh, uh, Ted Lasso. Big Mouth. What is Big Mouth? And haha, <laughs> it's a it's on adult Netflix. cartoon on Netflix, and it is stupid. Funny. Okay, so you it's, like the uh, you like John, the John, animated John Mulaney. John Mulaney does does the voice. So. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that kind of like, tells you. I, like, the, I do the, like John weird. Mulaney. Sober John Mulaney. <laughs> So we're jumping, exactly. Good, good. And then last, I gotta say Mandalorian. Mandalorian. All right. Okay, that's that's okay. That's fairly recent shows, I would say. You know, besides yes. Ozark. Well, Ozark just season ended like what last year? Season finale. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah okay. All right, Colin. What you got for streaming? <laughs> I don't like understand the premise here because like either. streaming, as in like. Like so, basically, like you couldn't say like never came on network TV. Like, never came certain, on network TV. Yeah, but like, is HBO like, cable. No, because it's HBO was like it's it's a streaming service now, and everything you can watch. Okay, I don't know. Basically, right. it's not on regular cable to where if it ain't on channel, if it ain't between channels so is, two and sixty five. You know what? You guys do your next list, and I'm just gonna give you my top ten because I'm confused. All you right. guys go to the next okay. list. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right next. See, he's too. See, Colin's too young to where like he no. can't think of enough like regular cable TV series. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, wait a minute. I, is uh, it Breaking Bad? <laughs> all right. So <laughs> my top five of normal TV. Okay, that means it doesn't have an app on your phone you can't you can use to watch. All right. Right. I had number one Breaking Bad. I think. Honestly, that's num my number one overall, regardless. Um, and then I had Lost. That was good. And then I had, this one is kind of out of the blue, but Band of Brothers. It used to be on AMC. Oh, that was good. That was yeah. really good. That was a really yep. good series. And then um, The Walking Dead, which obviously everybody knows that. I, Walking really, Dead is after The Last of Us, after The Last of Us, The Walking Dead's kind of like, Really? Yeah, it, I, I, the only downfall about The Walking Dead, I feel like it was too many seasons, too long, and like it should have ended way sooner. Um, and then it's, not, it's still going, is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, so you see, I'm okay. Well, the, forget The Walking Dead, I'm gonna do Prison Break at number four. Oh, yeah, and then at number five, I'm gonna say Sons of Anarchy. Mm, okay, okay, so for TV, it's mine. Mm -hmm. You kind of see a theme here, so um. You better say Avatar or something. Firefly, yeah, Firefly. Okay, um, what is Firefly? Uh, anime. Firefly is a sci-fi. Um, uh, it's a sci-fi uh, thriller action type drama. Um, there's only like two seasons, but it was a great two seasons, and people like kept wondering how come they only made two seasons. Okay, it's, it's one of those things. Um, Bleach, which is an anime. Um, okay, it's. That is my number one anime of all time. So that's that one. Uh, Smallville, because Smallville launched everything I, that's that's Arrow, Flash, all that stuff. So Smallville. okay, Smallville is, is about Superman, right? Yeah, yeah. I just don't like Superman as in just in general. I just don't ah. like him as a superhero. I think he's he's either overpowering or he's just like too too soft. That's you know? why I like Smallville because Smallville he's not overpowered. He's just he from Krypton, man. There. Krypton, man. You <laughs> but think, he's a teenager. Uh, he, 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 this was his teenager. L, you know? what's his dad you name? You know L, how Kyle he L? Became, stayed a teenager for eight years beyond me. But he was Superman teenager. shouldn't even have teen years. He should be. Um, he should come out of, of the womb a grown ass man with powers. <laughs> like you don't need to grow up. He is grown. Uh, so my next one is going to encompass because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. So Star Trek, all of them. Because there's a lot. Okay. Of them. Well, you know, you can't do all of them. You can only is it the one with Captain Kirk or is it no? Okay. With, uh, I mean, all the, all the new all the new ones. Uh, you got Picard, Discovery, and uh, Live long the new Enterprise. There, there's like a whole bunch of them. So okay, Trek, but if you can only choose one, if you can only ah, choose one, Jesus. you're gonna Will 
Will Schnatter, whatever his name is, or I mean, it's, it's been a couple. It's the ball. Yeah, guy. There's a lot. Professor there's, X, there's dude. A lot. Picard. Then that's he's got a new series out now with it. And then was again. there a black dude so, at one point? Yeah, D Space Nine. Yeah, and that's another good one. So there's like a lot of them that are good. So this this them that's that one. <laughs> okay, all right. All Star them. Star Trek was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and this one's hard because it's like True Blood or Twenty Four. Both are very good. You know, it's funny. I had Twenty Four on my list too. <laughs> But so, it was it, it was just a, missed the cut. Yeah, yeah, it was true blood. And also and had Mad Men too. Was really good. Ah, uh, so I had Heroes also. I don't know if you saw Heroes on NBC. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Felt superheroes enough. But damn, Sean, we can't talk about these series. Like I, I, I've probably watched like three. I've lived a long time. <laughs> That's fair. You said when you, when you put the Star Trek, I was like, okay, this is this is pre nineteen nineties list. So. Well, <laughs> no, because the like next generation is, is 90. Um, and then Will, Will Schneider's ones, dead, right? He died. I, no, he's not dead. He I, got a series Colin, on Netflix. Find out if Will Schneider is alive or not. He's still alive. He's got a series on Netflix. Oh, I thought he died. Called The Undisplaying with, with William Shatner. All right. I'm sorry, William, if you're listening. I didn't mean to think you were dead, but you've been around for a while now. So it's, <laughs> you know, it's a common mistake to think someone that's old but, is dead. All right. I mean, he is in his 90s, so, I mean. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good list. And I think, you know, it was it was, it was was tough because it was like, you know, like, I'm a big Seinfeld fan. And it's hard to, like, consider those. Because, like, I don't know. I wanted something with a storyline because we were talking about The Last of Us. Yeah, and it's, right. you know, it's yeah. it's it's a buildup. And also, I do want to give a shout out to Pedro, Pedro Pascal and Jonathan Majors. They're killing it. I feel like this is their year. Like, they're, the past they're year. They yeah, are so definitely doing it. Let me give you a rundown. So Pedro has been in. Oh, oh we're gonna get Colin's list real quick. Oh yeah, Colin. My bad. Sorry, we forgot. His is probably gonna be 2010 and up. Let's hear. Now it. watch. Yeah, yeah watch, pretty much. Just 2015. Watch. 2015. Yeah. Just watch. Just watch. Just Zach watch. and All Cody. Right. Take the world <laughs> so like, I am a little like too old to really get into like those like too old or too cable young. Sh- or sorry, too young to get into those like cable shows like. You mentioned like some CW shows. I remember watching those as like a kid. I just thought mm-hmm. they were like eh, a little too like corny for me or like something <laughs> like that. Yeah, just wasn't into it. But like there are good cable shows. But like, my, all right, I'm just gonna read off my top ten. Sopranos, Breaking did you, Bad. Did you watch? Did you watch Sopranos? Yes, I've watched all these like multiple times. These are some of my. Favorite shows <laughs> are, are you Italian? Do you have some Italian? Are you Italian? I'm Italian. Yeah, I yeah, relate. So it's to like. You kind of like have to watch it, right? <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not <laughs> that my family, my family isn't like that crazy Italian, but like there's so many things that they say in the show where it's like, Jesus yeah, Christ, it sounds like my dad talking to me. Like <laughs> to, be, to be Italian, you have to watch The Sopranos, The Godfather, one, two, and three. You gotta never like, seen it, The Godfather though. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, whoa! It's one of those movies everyone just keeps like delete, telling me to watch. You still got, like, t- you still got time to to retract yeah, your comment. Yeah. Delete this right white. now. You know what? I'm gonna link yeah. it in my letterbox. <laughs> you can, you guys should download Letterbox. It's like a app where you can track all the movies you watch. You should see mine. It's great. Anyway, let me keep going. Let me keep going. <laughs> all right, Sopranos at number one. Breaking okay. Bad at two. Curb Your Enthusiasm at three. I like Curb. Number yeah, four. Yeah. You might not have heard of it. The Larry Sanders Show. Uh, oh, amazing that was a show. That was Wait, it's a good one. Larry Sanders Show. That was a good. One. Larry oh, Sanders yes. Show. Oh yeah. Uh, so funny. Number five is Game of Thrones. Could have been like a number one pick if it wasn't for those last two seasons or the last. Yes, season, basically. yes, that's what uh, right. You the Wire weird. at number six. Uh, okay. Great fucking. See, show. I didn't see The Wire. That's where. I oh, it's the so wire. good. The wire. Just watch the first season. You're hooked. Um, Arrested Development at number seven. Chappelle Show at eight. Always eight. Sunny in Philadelphia at nine. Samurai Champloo because I wanted to throw a anime in there. Yeah. I'm not even finished yeah. it, but I know wait, it's. Wait, it's wait, you had Chappelle ever. Show at number eight. Yeah, I wanted to like, throw a sketch show in there. Okay, well, if that's a, if we throw sketch shows in there, then I got Chappelle's show at number one. Like, I mean, that, I, I, that show see, of all I'm, time, going, I'm going Key and Pill. That's, going that's half, my, my, half, my, half my vocabulary is from the Chappelle show. Like, <laughs> I, I talk I like in Chappelle, quotes. I, I like Chappelle's show. Honestly, I did, but I thought Key and Peele's sketch show. Key and Peele was, was a, 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 a try-hard remake of the Chappelle show. Oh, uh, don't. A B version. It was. I agree. You can't blame them, though, because it was... It was like they can't be as raunchy as Chappelle. Yeah, like he was just the first early two thousands. 
Yeah, you can yeah. say whatever. Yeah, you can, the yeah, yeah. draft. Like, come on. The Clayton Bigsby, the black white supremacist. Crazy. You could not do that to <laughs> today. Like, All right. That's that that shows right. these lists show like our our ages pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah, it does. 20, it like does. 24, 26. 26. I'm 33. Sean, you're somewhere in above that. Yeah, I'm up Honorable today. mentions I'm up real quick. Eastbound and down, Boondocks, Office, Seinfeld. Boom. All right. Boon, okay, that's Boondocks, fair. Boondocks, definitely Boondocks. So you like you more of the comedy side of things, I assume. Yeah, comedies and drama. Yeah, Curb. So I like Curb, comedies Curb's and a nice one. So, all right, you you like, action. You like Curb more. or Seinfeld more? Sorry. I I I like Seinfeld. Oh man, that's tough, man. Seinfeld has more, obviously, more of a uh, more episodes and you know years of seasons, but Curb is just I. Larry David reminds me of my friend Joseph to where like he has he says what's on his mind. He has he doesn't mm -hmm. care about the the repercussions or the you know rebuttal from someone. That's I don't know. I like her better. I think it's 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 just it just flows better. I don't know. It's, it's a great series. It's because they uh improv everything. He just yeah, that's what I found like what, what you should do, and then they just go off. Yeah, and that's awesome. like that takes talent to like have eleven seasons of that. Like, come on, mm -hmm. you gotta have some either very talented actors or you know just a jail between everybody um right but real quick so season finale of um uh the last of us the last of us is yeah. sunday obviously sean you you played the game colin have you played the game no no okay oh, so, so, so sean so you, you guys, i assume you probably know what's going to happen just because no and that's the great and that's the best part about this i mm -hmm. don't because while it is doing a great job of staying with the game is they throwing their own yeah, that's that's, that's what they were saying, and, like in the after show, like uh, explanation. Um, however, like I said, Pedro Pascal has been killing it lately. The guy's in unbearable weight of massive talent. Just a few to name off. Uh, obviously, Narcos, The Last of Us. He's also the Mandalorian, which I completely forgot about. And then you also have yeah, um, he does a great job in the Mandalorian. Yeah, and then you also have Jonathan Majors, which Creed Three just came out. He's also uh, Kang the Conqueror and Ant Man and the Quantum Mania. He's also Love in Crab Country. Love Crab yeah. Country. Love, Love Crab Country. The Harder They Fall in Which, if you haven't seen it, you see it. It's yeah. got some black history in it and it's got sci fi in it and got some vamp. See it. I'm just saying. See Love Crab well, Country. Well, unless you, you got to have HBO though to see it. They so. canceled it too. Didn't yeah, they? yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I couldn't. Really, I, I followed it for a little bit, a couple episodes, but it kind of. I made Once it you, past like four episodes and then kind of fell yeah, off. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it was one of those geared towards a certain demographic and if you liked it you know whatever if not then so what he has other stuff 